What if the next world war isn't fought over oil, land, or ideology, but something far more cosmic? In this video, we're diving deep into why the moon might just be ground zero for the next global showdown. The moon has always been a symbol of mystery and wonder, but as we peel back its layers, we're finding it's not just a beautiful celestial body, it's a hotbed of resources and strategic advantages. And when there's something valuable up for grabs, well, history has shown that tensions can escalate rather quickly. Picture the Cold War era, a time when the US and the Soviet Union were locked in a race to conquer the final frontier, space. Fast forward to today, and the game has changed dramatically. It's no longer a two-player match, it's a global competition with multiple countries vying for a piece of the lunar pie. Countries like China, India, and even private corporations are throwing their hats into the ring. Each has its own agenda, whether it's scientific research, resource mining, or establishing a permanent lunar base. The stakes? Control over a celestial body that could hold the key to humanity's future. What if the moon turns into this century's West Berlin, a cauldron of intense political tension? Picture a future where the moon's terrain is as hotly contested as international borders back on Earth. Nations could forge alliances on the lunar surface, weaving a tangled web of relationships with the power to either cultivate peace or set the stage for conflict. The moon is no longer just a scientific curiosity. It's a strategic asset, a potential battleground that could redefine global politics. And just like during the Cold War, the race to claim it is heating up. But this time, the whole world is watching, and the outcome is anything but certain. Think back to the early 20th century, when oil was discovered in the Middle East. Almost overnight, barren deserts transformed into geopolitical hotspots, sparking confrontations and alliances that reshaped the world. Now imagine a similar scenario unfolding. But this time, the treasure isn't buried beneath the sands of the Arabian Peninsula. It's hidden in the craters and caverns of the moon. Helium-3, rare earth metals, and even water in the form of ice, these are just a few of the moon's untapped resources. And their potential worth? Astronomical. We're talking about fuels for future fusion reactors and materials for next-gen technologies. The moon could be a treasure trove that makes the oil booms of the past look like child's play. But here's where things get dicey. Imagine a future where lunar resources become the new black gold, the backbone of Earth's economy. Countries and corporations could go to great lengths to stake their claims, setting the stage for a new form of colonialism, not on continents, but on a celestial body. And let's not forget the environmental angle. Mining the moon could be less destructive than strip mining Earth, offering a more sustainable way to meet humanity's insatiable appetite for resources. But who gets to make that call? And at what cost? Picture this. A lunar mining operation goes awry, sparking a dispute between two countries with stakes in the region. It's not just a business disagreement, it's a flashpoint that could escalate into a full-blown conflict, affecting diplomatic relations back on Earth. The moon is not just a vacant celestial object. It's a treasure trove of untapped resources with the power to either catapult humanity into an era of unparalleled prosperity or plunge us into a state of global tension. As the race to unlock these resources heats up, the lines between collaboration and rivalry start to blur, teetering us on the edge of a new global landscape, be it harmonious or chaotic. Cast your mind back to the medieval era, where castles perched on hills served as strategic military outposts. These fortresses weren't just homes for royalty. They were critical vantage points in times of war. Now imagine the moon as the ultimate high ground, a celestial fortress from which to observe, and if necessary, to engage. The moon's unique position gives it a strategic advantage that's hard to ignore. It's like having a watchtower that not only overlooks Earth, but also has a panoramic view of the entire solar system. Countries could use it for surveillance, missile defense, and even as a launch pad for military operations. The possibilities are as vast as space itself. But here's the kicker. What if the moon becomes the ultimate bargaining chip in international relations? Imagine a scenario where a country establishes a military base on the moon, effectively turning it into a cosmic Cuban missile crisis. The presence of such a base could tip the scales of power, 
forcing nations back on Earth to reconsider their alliances and strategies. And let's not overlook the ethical implications. The militarization of the moon raises questions about the weaponization of space, a topic that's been debated but never fully resolved. Who gets to decide what's permissible? And what happens when the rule of engagements in space differ from those on Earth? Imagine a scenario where military bases on the moon are as prevalent as embassies on Earth. Envision a future where the moon holds significance beyond scientific interest or tourism, serving as a pivotal factor capable of either stabilizing or destabilizing global interactions. The moon is much more than just the celestial body. It's a potential military stronghold that could redefine global politics and warfare. And as countries scramble to stake their claim, the question isn't if the moon will become militarized, but when and at what cost. What if the key to controlling the moon isn't rockets or rovers, but a single line of texts in an obscure treaty, a line that could either prevent confrontation or ignite a cosmic cold war? The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 might seem like a relic, if you've even heard of it, but its words still echo in the corridors of power. It prohibits nations from claiming celestial bodies, but says nothing about private corporations. This silence creates a gray area, a loophole that could be exploited. Imagine a corporation backed by a nation setting up shop on the moon. It's not a violation, but it is a game changer. Now, let's layer in some complexity. What if a country finds a way to militarize the moon without technically breaking any rules? It's like finding a hidden compartment in a puzzle box, one that reveals a prize. The presence of such a loophole could ignite a diplomatic crisis forcing nations to revisit and negotiate long-standing agreements. But the moon isn't just a piece of real estate. It's a part of our shared human heritage. So who gets to decide what's fair game and what's off limits? And what happens when one nation's gain becomes humanity's loss? Imagine a future where the moon sits at the heart of a diplomatic labyrinth, each twist and turn more complex than the last. In this scenario, the moon transcends its role as a celestial body and becomes a geopolitical linchpin that could either rally nations around a shared vision or splinter them, plunging us into conflict and turmoil. What if the moon becomes the ultimate litmus test for humanity's ability to coexist? A celestial stage where the drama of international relations plays out, for better or for worse. The moon has always been a symbol of unity, it's the same moon that shines over every nation on Earth. But as countries and corporations extend their reach into lunar territory, this symbol of unity could become a source of division. Imagine a future where lunar resources are as coveted as oil reserves, sparking not just economic competition, but also ideological disagreements. And then there's another wild card, public opinion. In an age of social media and 24-7 news cycles, the court of public opinion can be as influential as any governmental body. What if a lunar incident goes viral, turning global sentiment against a country or corporation? It's like a social media storm that can sway diplomatic relations, adding another layer of complexity to an already intricate situation. And here's a thought to ponder. What if the moon serves as a catalyst for unprecedented international cooperation? Picture nations coming together to share lunar resources, to conduct joint scientific missions, or even to establish a multinational lunar base. This is a scenario where the moon becomes a common ground for humanity, a place where our shared goals and dreams can eclipse our differences. In this high-stakes game, the moon is more than just a celestial body. It's a mirror, reflecting the best and worst of human nature. And as we venture further into this uncharted territory, the choices we make will either pull us together or push us apart setting the tone for humanity's future in space and beyond. The moon is more than just a celestial entity. It's a platform that holds immense potential for either uniting humanity through groundbreaking space exploration or triggering the onset of a worldwide conflict. It's a reflection of who we are and what we could become. If you enjoyed this video, you want to click the one on screen now for another fun adventure through the cosmos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.